Hey guys, welcome to the Veteran Outdoorsman channel. We're going to talk EDC today. Um, do a little bit of a pocket dump, talk about what I carry, why I carry it. So let's get started. I've generally got one of three knives in my pocket. One being a buck, a mini buck. It's a nice thin profile. Lockback folder. Um, just a handy, lightweight, you never know it's there. If you wear dress pants, you wear khakis a lot, things like that. It doesn't show the profile in your pocket. It's a good one to carry. For the same reason, um, we need to mention, you can still find these, but they're not manufactured anymore to the best of my knowledge. So there's that. But it's a handy little knife. Same thing with this, a charade, uh, Lockback folder, thin profile. I've had a number of these over the years. They don't make them anymore, but whenever I find one at a gun show or something, I buy it because I like that. And I've always got one in reserve for if I break or lose that one. And I'll wear those when I'm wearing khakis or something. If I'm wearing jeans, this little um, Buck Cadet. They don't make it with a pearlite handle anymore. But... Uh, they make it with different handle materials, and it's still a good knife. It's just a small Stockman style knife with three blades. Um, a handy little folding knife. Um, all of these I've used for cleaning small game and whatnot. They're, they're just basic functional pocket knives. I don't carry a tactical folder. Um, some guys will give me grief for that. Most of what I use a knife for is opening boxes and things like that. If I have to use a knife to defend myself, I'd rather have one that I'm really comfortable with, and that would be one of those. Um, but that's why we carry guns, right? Tactical pen. I've carried a tactical pen for a while. This is a fairly new one. I got it for Father's Day. Um, I don't know the exact brand or model of it, but it's a little unique. You notice it's a little bit longer. It's got a compass on it. Obviously, the ink pen that comes in handy, I use it all the time. It's got a little screwdriver, wrench, bottle cap opener inside, and a, like a little saw. I don't know what, how useful that saw piece would be, but it's there. It's got a light on it with a strobe. Normal glass breaker. All <laughs> aluminum, everything's gasketed so it's waterproof. Um, it's got a little compass on the end of it. That's junk, but the rest of it's pretty handy. It's just long enough to use as a handle for a turn for tightening a tourniquet or something like that if you need to. It's got a nice clip. I stick it in my pocket and uh, it works really well. I don't typically carry a light because I have that and I have my phone. Both of those have a light um, so I don't really find a need for it. And I don't even check the batteries on this thing. If it's dead, it's dead because I've always got my phone on me and it's got a light. I've always got my phone on me, my smartphone. I would show you that, but I'm videoing with this, so I can't show you that. Showed you my knives. Always carry a pair of toenail clippers. A lot of guys will carry fingernail clippers on their keys. I carry toenail clippers. They're larger, easier to manipulate in your hands. You can use them for clipping small wires, um, fishing line, things like that. Obviously for clipping your nails and stuff, but for me, I think it's just, a, though they take up a little more space in your pocket, the toenail clippers are just a little sturdier or whatnot, so I carry a pair of those. I've always got my reading glasses. Um, you'll see me in most of my videos, I'm wearing them. Because my screen is close and it's fuzzy without them, but I only need these for reading and stuff like that, for up close stuff. But I've always got my reading glasses. A pair of bifocal sunglasses. 
no power up top, and little bifocal readers. Um, if you're somebody that needs reading glasses, bifocal sunglasses are a must. These are just cheap Foster Grant Jugs drugstore uh, sunglasses, but they're they work just fine. Um, keep the sun out of your eyes. That's that's all I need them for. Just a ball cap to keep the sun off of my off my head that's every year getting exposed more and more. Um, I typically wear a pair of square toed, steel toed Justin slip on work boots. I just like the cowboy style boot. The square toe is because that's what's available. But I wear steel toes because it's required at my work, and I just I wear them all the time. A small, thin profile wallet with my credit cards, a little bit of cash. My keys. Always get your vehicle keys. Nothing special about just the keys. Um, I've got my old Army Values tag on it. I just keep that on there for whatever reason. But two things that I had on my keychains forever, on every keychain, and that is a P38 or John Wayne can opener. Um, never know when you might need to open a can, but I've used this for a lot of different purposes, opening boxes, things like that. Um, if you can't carry a knife somewhere, people don't complain about a can opener. So it's a handy little tool. And then a choke tube wrench. Now this is a Carlson. And somebody's gonna say, well, I, you know, I'm not shooting my shotgun every day. Why do I need a choke tube wrench? This is a handy little piece of gear. Any any little um, slot that you could open with a quarter, you can open with this and you've got more leverage. Um, you'd be surprised how often I use this. Uh, probably at least once a week, I find a reason to use this piece of gear. Um, you know, a lot of times you... In an in a almost cashless society, you don't always have coins in your pocket. This thing is handy. Um, plus, it's got more leverage, like I said, obviously for choke tubes in your shotgun and whatnot. But it's got a lot of other purposes for opening the little slotted screws in uh, breaker boxes and things. Handy little piece of, piece of gear. We don't always have a screwdriver on us. Um, I don't carry a multi-tool anymore. I just think they're a little bulky. But I've always got this on me and like on my keychain. Then obviously my keys. So oh. spare mag in my back pocket. I don't have to show you that. Just keep a spare mag. Um, and then for what everybody's been waiting for. Kimber Micro 9. I've done a review on that. So you can go check that out. It's got night sights, the tritium sights, um, just a 9mm single stack. I, I believe one magazine is 7, one magazine is 6. I carry the flush fit, so it's 6. Then I've got the extended one as a spare with 7 rounds. Carry it in a sticky holster. I always carry it in my front pocket. Um, or 90% of the time I carry it in my front pocket. The rest of the time it'll either be inside the waistband at about between four and five o'clock or in the breast pocket of a jacket. I find those to be the most comfortable. Occasionally, I'll just carry it in my back pocket, but not very often. I usually just carry it in my front pocket with that sticky holster. It hides the profile pretty well. Um, and 
not a whole lot of explanation to it. That's just what I like. Um, I don't personally see the purpose of the double stacks with 12, 15 rounds and whatnot. If you do, that's fine. Um, most civilian citizen involved shootings are solved with less than six rounds. So I've got no problem carrying this. I've got a spare mag if I need it. If I'm in a situation where I need more rounds than that, one, I'm already in a lot of trouble. Two, hopefully I've already gotten myself into a position where I can get to a bigger gun. Um, that's just the way I look at it. Oh, I've always got a leather belt. I'm not going to take that off and show you, but I've always got a sturdy leather belt. Keep my britches up. Um, serve as a tourniquet if needed. A lot of guys carry a tourniquet. Um, that's fine. I don't. I don't carry a fanny pack or anything like that. I used to carry a knife sharpener with me. I Honestly, I've gotten to where I just carry two pocket knives at all times. If one gets dull, I go to the next one. Or I carry this multi-bladed one. If one gets dull, just open another blade. This is just everyday stuff. This isn't an all-out survival situation. So I can come home and resharpen my knife if I need to. Not that big a deal. A uh, little colder weather right now. Um, I've got this flannel that's got a nice soft uh, somewhat insulated liner in it and I wear that as a jacket just about everywhere uh, it works as a a shield for carrying a concealed weapon if you're going to carry um, somewhat exposed it helps with that but mostly it just keeps you warm um, not going to win any popularity contests but it's a functional piece of gear those work boots they're good enough that I wear them in the office all the time. They're good enough looking for that. I've got a couple of pairs of them. I've got one that I keep fairly clean that I wear in the office. Um, but they're, they're, they look like regular cowboy boots, but they're work boots. They've got good tread on them. I can, I can tromp through the mud and stuff like that with them. They've got steel toes. Steel toes, as far as protecting your feet, There's varying schools of thought. A lot of times something heavy enough to smash your foot is going to smash that toe, that steel toe down and, and cut your foot, cut your toes off, stuff like that. So I wear it because I have to, but there's other purposes. In a hand-to-hand -hand situation, kicking somebody with a steel toe is going to inflict more damage than kicking someone with a soft toe shoe or boot. So... There's another reason for that, and that's why I wear them every day, not just at work. Um, and you can really wear out a vending machine with them if you want to. That's basically it, guys. The reason I carry the sticky holsters is because they're inexpensive. Um, you can find them in all for all different types of weapons. I've got one for my 1911. I will, I'll carry it inside the waistband at times. Um, I think they're handy. And I've had them for a number of different pistols. I carry that Kimber because I like the 1911 look and feel. Yes, it's, it's much smaller than a standard 1911, but it's got that familiarity. It doesn't have the grip safety, which I actually like not having that. But the, rig the standard safety is in the same place. It's got the sliding trigger the hammers familiar it's just a familiar type weapon um, i like the tritium sights let's see if there's anything i'm missing i don't believe so so that's my breakdown um 
I always carry a knife if I can. If I'm going to a courthouse or something like that, I'll leave it in the truck or even at the house. Typically, I leave it in my truck. Um, but I carry one whenever I can just because I was taught years ago that every man should carry a knife. So I carry one. I use them all the time, mostly for opening boxes and things like that, for uh, cleaning my fingernails, whatever. Um, but it's better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. That's what they always say. This is one that you just don't hear about. Um, carrying a pair of fingernail clippers or toenail clippers. To me, for cutting strings, um, you can clip small wires, like I said. It's just one of those that every now and then I need something like this. It's nice to have in my pocket. I already mentioned the choke tube wrench. Um, sunglasses aren't a must, but as you get older, the sun bothers your eyes more. That's why I uh, always have those in my pocket, usually right up here. Um, the bifocals, again, like I said, reading glasses for obvious reasons. I need them to read. And and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I hope you got something out of it. If there's something you think I'm lacking, um, something you think's unnecessary, go ahead and put it in the comments. Um, tag me in your breakdown videos, and I'll take a look at them. Um, don't expect comments. I'm not an expert, but I like to I like to see them. So that's it. Christmas is coming up, guys. I hope you enjoy the time with your family. Remember the reason for the season. Um, the birth of Christ. Might not put too many videos out in the upcoming weeks because of, the, of that holiday, because of Christmas. Um, be traveling with family and whatnot. But please like and subscribe if you're so inclined. If not, it's free country. We will see you guys in the next video.